that in prophecy unveils the work of he that had the power of death. It's not unveiling the character of God. That a prophecy came concerning his death doesn't mean because it's a prophecy it's God that will do it. No, it's the unveiling of the character of he that had the power of death. How many of you remember when I was teaching on the nature of God, I said in this church that you will never know Satan until you know God. It is the revelation of God that exposes Satan. God is light. Darkness is exposed by light. So until God is revealed, Satan hides in the shadows and does his evil and all his evils are attributed to God. But the moment Jesus showed up, as the revelation of God, as the light of the world, the moment he showed up, demons began to cry out. The people didn't know that there were demons there until Jesus showed up. Am I communicating at all? So the presence of Jesus exposes Satan. That means you can never know Satan till you know God. You can never know Satan till you know Christ. The revelation of Jesus unveils the believer and exposes Satan. You didn't hear what I said. The revelation of Jesus unveils the believer, exposes Satan, and reveals God to mankind. All is tied around Jesus. If you don't know Jesus, you don't know God. And if you don't know Jesus, you don't know you. And if you don't know Jesus, with all respect, you don't know Satan. You can never know Satan till you know Christ. And you can never know you till you know Christ. And you can never know God till you know Christ. Many people you meet to say, I only know God. Which God? God. They don't know anybody. They don't know anything. They are just, they are just full of assumption. You can know God without Christ. No man can come to the Father except Jesus is the exclusive custodian. Jesus is the is the Gabato. He is the sole carrier. Jesus is the perfect imprint, the pleroma, the corporate headquarters of the Godhead. Jesus is the executive carrier of the Father. So if you don't know Jesus, you don't know the Father. You can never know the Father outside of Christ. Did you hear what I said? never no man comes to the father except by Christ Christ reveals the father the Bible calls Jesus the image of the invisible God the image listen in English language you can't have invisible and have image is that true if it's invisible there's no image if there is image it is not invisible but in this case there is invisible attached to image which means Jesus gives visibility to the invisible that is Jesus exposes the invisible Jesus reveals the father so when you see Jesus you have seen the father what Jesus cannot do the father cannot do what Jesus cannot do, the Father cannot do. What Jesus does not do, the Father does not do. What Jesus does, the Father does. And somebody said to me the other day, how, how, how can you say God does not kill? How, how? Are you wiser than the Bible? Even the Bible says he kill it and he make it alive. It's a product of bad pastoring or lack of pastoring. If what the Old Testament people said about God was accurate, there would be no need for Jesus. The revelation of Jesus was to accurately reveal God to us. Question, did Jesus kill anybody? Did he at any time kill anybody? He said, what I see my father do, that I do. Did Jesus kill anybody? But what did he do rather? He gave life to the dead. If Jesus killed nobody, then the father kills nobody. There's no death in the father. There's only life. Hallelujah. Only life in God. In him was life, and the life was the light of men, and the light shines in darkness, and the darkness cannot comprehend. 
Glory to God.